Right, so we just set up this little tank a few days ago, right? Looking pretty good. Obviously, it's not grown in at all, and we've got to move this ugly heater to the back and that. But uh, we've got a bit of an issue here. The water's now ready, so we want to put some uh, dark jean rams in here. But on the surface, we've got a lot of um, like a surface film, all right? I don't know if you can pick it up there, but it's like hazy. And uh, obviously that's not good for oxygen exchange and you know, mainly, mainly for the look for us. Anyway, uh, we've got a seeking tidal on here, but the water level's not quite low enough to, to suck or to push that, that um, film back in. So what we're gonna do is use this, it was busy unpacking it here now, um, this little surface skimmer. Now this can be temporary, you don't have to have it on all the time because we don't all want like some big machine in your tank. But uh, this, this sorts it out pretty rapidly. So we're just gonna put it in the corner here for now, just so everybody can see what's going on. Um, so this has to sit level, okay? And then it, it floats, this little piece at the top here, just floats just under your water surface, all right? You can see, so as your, let's just get these air bubbles out of here. As your, um, as the surface uh, uh, level changes, this will go either up or down with, with the surface. Okay, so you can see it's starting to work there. Now you can see, there we go, now you can see it on the camera. It's sucking in all the waste there. So now you'll see in a few minutes, it would have cleared this. There's just a little sponge in this internal uh, um, surface skimmer. It's doing the job. So we'll have to clean that out probably just now. But I'll take another shot in a minute or two when this is clear. We literally, it's not even a minute, I don't think. Check the difference already. You see, there's still a bit of waste there, but it's, I mean, we're talking about a minute. Let me give you an update again now. Let's give it another few seconds, yeah? So I'll show you, this is, this is the actual box that it comes in. 139.90, 140 bucks, that's for nothing, man. Very cheap, does the job. Check there, we're almost done now. I'll show you the little sponge on the inside once this is finished, just to show you how we clean it. Very easy maintenance. So the usual cause of this film, um, it can be from putting your hands in there, creams in your hand, oils, you know, from your, produced by your own body. It can be from uh, uh, fish foods, you know, the different flag foods, pellet foods that release oil and put uh, oil into your water. And it can also be um, external issues, like uh, if, if the aquarium's in a kitchen, or you know something along those lines, um, you know, so that could uh, be producing a bit of uh, dust and smoke and whatnot that's going on on the water surface. It's actually very common. It's a normal thing. Um, but here we are. Must have been running for two minutes. It's almost perfectly clear. All right. So we're going to let that run a little bit more. But what I'm going to do right now is, um, well, actually, Atoll's going to show us. Um, we're just going to clean the little filter sponge so you can see how it works. So Mr. Atwell is going to show us how it's done. Very technical stuff this. <laughs> okay, so you just, you take the top off, just pulls out, pull out. Yeah, what a big finger, is it? Quickly Atwell, people are waiting here. <laughs> There we go. Little sponge that's on the inside that just catches the little bits of debris and the oil and, and that. And then you're just going to rinse that. We're not using this as actual filtration or, uh, or biological filtration. So we're just going to rinse that straight under the tap. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And that's it. Put it back in. Just lies flat in there. That's the one. Yeah, it's tight. Put that back on. Done. That's I mean, what it. was that? That's like a few seconds to clean it. Obviously, bigger tanks can have to clean more regularly, but uh, I mean, we could, on this size tank, you could probably run this, you could clean it once a month. So anyway, that's a little Sobo SK03 surface skimmer. Doing its job. Yeah. <laughs> hey.